I love to play the saxophone. I take it with me wherever I roam, and the sound of the saxophone always brings me home. I keep it with me every day, 'cause there's a song in my heart that I've got to play, and I feel it down deep in my soul. I love my saxophone. You can you run around or you can jump off the stage, and I know with the saxophone that that's okay. You can sit, you can dance, you can rock, or you can stand and sway. Now what I do is press the first key down. Take a deep breath and a good look around, and I blow in the horn, and it makes a big, big sound. So it's a whole new year. We're going to have this awesome new show. Everybody's going to be here at any minute. Wait a minute. They're here. Ladies and gentlemen, 2021, I would like to introduce to you the most beautiful woman in the world, my wife, Mindy A. Bear. Yay! <laughs> I just pulled that Hi, off. Hi, Hi, Mindy. <laughs> Look at that intro, huh? I love that. I know, right? Hey, everybody! We're just hanging out in the house. Woo! But we got you guys now. I just See? pulled. I just pulled that on Mindy. She had no idea what was going on. <laughs> yeah. See, that's called comedy excellence in the moment. It's called good husbandry. It's called bad acting. <laughs> All right. Wait, we're not supposed to do something first before we do what we do first. I got it up on the screen. So everybody, I saw all the great people that have been with us all last year, and a bunch of new people. So, cheers! cheers. Chin chin. A bunch of santé. Skull. You guys, it's 2021. Woo! <laughs> our first cooking show. Our first cooking show. Of our the year. first, you know, our first craziness. It's a new year. We wanted to make you something that we love to eat. And you know what? It's spicy. It's yep. fun. Yeah. It's jambalaya. Woo! Now, I was born and raised in St. Petersburg, Florida. There's a little bit of jambalaya that goes on down there. I know it's known as. New Orleans, and, and I get that, but I just love to eat it. It's not like, it's, well, I guess it is a little bit of my heritage, a bear, you know, jambalaya, no. No, well, Mindy claims that she's from the South, and Tampa, though technically is more Southern to Louisiana, it ain't the South. I'm sorry, St. Petersburg, Florida is the South. Can we weigh in on this? All right, this is, is Florida the South? Everybody weigh in. Is Florida considered, not the South, but the South? This is, this is like a sticking point on our marriage. So we need you to tell us. 
All right, so te- you were telling those people we're going to be making jambalaya today. We're going to get jambalaya. right into that. That's going to be awesome. Do you see all this ready? All this stuff? This is a lot of stuff. Yeah, this is going to be great. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things I do with Mindy's jambalaya is I ask her often not to make a lot because in the middle of the night I go rifling through it. So <laughs> I always ask her to half the recipe, but you can't. you got to make it all in one big chunk. Look, I'm just going to say if you're going to take the time to put all this stuff together, Right, and you're gonna you're gonna get the anjouy sausage, and you're gonna get the the wine that you're gonna drink to make it, and you're gonna go through the shrimp and the yep. chicken and everything. I want to make more. I'll put it in the freezer so that like a week later I can go take it out of the freezer. She doesn't, and it stays there, it gets frozen, and she buys takeout. Wow. <laughs> so He's the just wine. mad because he eats so, it in the middle of the night and sneaks it. So the wine we're gonna be drinking <laughs> yeah. is shades of blue. And I'm sure everybody out there knows why. There's a a lot of people here that have already bought this, had it as part of their membership. It is a 2016 Sonoma County Malbec. And Malbec goes excellent with this because it's got the fruitiness to it, but also a little bit of that spicy, tannic edge to it. So we're going to talk a little bit about this wine later in a new segment that we're going to launch this year. Drinking with Eric. That seems like it needed a song or something like that. But go ahead. So wait, say <laughs> it again. We, wait, hold do on. Do we need a theme song for yeah, that? It's, ready, it's called... Ready? Three, two, one. Drinking with Eric. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Look, I got the graphic up on the screen. Woo! Oh, see? New graphic. New, new graphic. Year. Much Drinking shorter hair, Eric. With yes. Eric. I know. You were so clean cut back then. I know, no, right? Uh, so that'll be coming up soon. So are you ready to cook? Because you got some cooking to do. Well, actually, Eric's got some cooking to do. I'm going to play a little saxophone while he cooks. Um, but that's what usually happens. So let's do this. Let's do this. All right. right. Uh, you might have to put your wine glass down, but you may not. Yep. I don't know. Let's let's call it a test if he okay. can cook all this and keep a glass of wine in his hand. Okay, so the first thing you do is a couple tablespoons of oil right. in that pan. And oil could be canola oil, could be veggie oil. We use grapeseed oil. They uh, they're high smoke points, so they can get very very hot. Ooh. Woo! Oh yeah, go for it. Oh, man, good. what about the diet for 2021? We're making jambalaya. We're on no diet. Yeah, no, ain't no diet. All right. Forget it. So go ahead. I okay. Butter now you too. you're gonna uh, put the mirepoix in here, the holy trinity. Right. All right. So the holy trinity. We got a little celery, a celery. cup of celery, right? right? Ready that bad boy in. Woo! Woo. We heated up the pan. Woo! Whoa! Woo! You all right? <laughs> onion? <laughs> onion. Woo! One cup of onion. Woo! Whoa! Wow! You were you were a beach guy, weren't you? Peppers. He's like frisbee throwing. Green pepper. Boom! One cup. Wow! <laughs> I don't know who's gonna clean that up later, but. Not gonna be me. Okay, he's gonna get that cooking up, and while you're doing that, you gotta do things, you know, at the same time. You gotta juggle a little to make jambalaya. (laughs) What is going on over here? You stick of butter. Uh Oh, wait, it's getting smoky in here. Did butter just fly into the pan? Oh my god! And then while she's cooking, while she's um, (laughs) performing, playing the first song. We got some beautiful andouille sausage that we're going to put in here with some butter. And we use the heavy skillet so it's got a much higher heat point yeah. and more even. And it just get that andouille going crazy. Woo! Woo! All right, and so we got ring one here, second ring right here, third ring circus going on over here. This is chicken stock, Need two and a half cups. You got to put more butter. I mean, what's? I'm not on the diet. Are you? Yeah. No. No. Over here is chicken stock, two yeah. and a half cups, but here's the secret. If you take nothing else from today except for this, Go ahead. this is very important. Drink wine? No. Well, I mean, that's good too. If you take nothing else more than this though, what you're going to do to that chicken stock is you want to flavor it. And the best way to flavor it is the skins, the, the shells that come off the shrimp because it makes it feel like the gulp. It makes it feel like that salt water. It gives it that that seafoody flavor that you want from a good jambalaya. Seafoody flavor. You always uh, yeah, that's a word, right? Yeah. You yeah, always yeah. want wonder why the jambalaya from certain places tastes better. That's it. Wait, hold it a little closer. It's a little drowned out. There you Those go. Those are the shells that go. I took off the shrimp. Very nice. All right. 
So these are going to go in to this chicken stock. And before we put the chicken stock in to the whole jambalaya, we'll just take those skins out with that flavor in there. That's the magic. Total magic. Okay, you can see here that the, I don't know if you guys can see very well, but I'll show you. We might have the light up a little too high. Let me turn it down a little bit. There you go. Sorry, guys. Just so you guys can see this. There you go. And you know what? 52-year-old guys always look better in the dark. So, uh, <laughs> see how we're getting that into it? <laughs> I am my sexiest when it's the darkest in the room. <laughs> I she didn't say no, and she just laughed. I don't know if that's a good thing, right? No, I'm definitely sexier in the dark. Yeah. I like the dark. A little mood lighting never hurts, right? Yeah, I mean, listen, over 50, yeah. All right, step back. All right. Uh, and you keep I've got a little home, right? I've got a little home. Okay, I'm going to play... I'm gonna play something that's New Orleans. Right. Right? We're drinking shades of blue. You know, the whole playlist for shades of blue are, yeah, is blues good. music. Um, this song is not on that playlist that we put together, but I love it and we're cooking jambalaya, so it makes sense, right? Yep. So. And I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because I don't want my andouille to burn. And that's not mm -hmm. code. Really? <laughs> <laughs> it's a family show. <laughs> Well, it used to be. Yeah, I know, right? It just, <laughs> just got weird. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right, go ahead, play. And it's just us eating it, so I can put my spoon back in after touching it. Right. Yeah. Right. All right. All right. It smells it so okay. good in here. Yeah, oh, yeah. my God. Oh, I wish you could be here and just smell it. But maybe you're cooking along with us, so maybe, maybe you are smelling it, you know? Uh, by the way, while all this is happening, the rice cooker is going, too. Can you see the rice cooker? Can you see it? Where? I put that rice cooker Wait. on right before we went on. Let me do it. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You gotta right? play music for the nice people, there. man. They're gonna they're gonna revolt on us. <laughs> Alright, here we go. A little you gotta get in the uh. Yeah, you gotta get in the uh. in the feel of St. Thomas. In the feel! <laughs>
so All it right. got burned. You notice anything different? <laughs> Did you change? Wow. Aricora is wearing the latest in cooking fashion. <laughs> you could use this either in the kitchen, at the grill, or just for a night out in the town. He got that for Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Mom and Dad. Thanks, Mom and Dad. He looks really good in it. And if you guys haven't noticed, actually, I just stepped on some onions. Um, he's a little messy in the kitchen, so hey. it works really well hey. to uh, I'm right here. You know, protect everything. <laughs> 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 All right. I think we're good to, to kind of move forward, right? You go right ahead there, because one thing we want to talk about is, hey, guys, we have... We realized we had a growing mailing list, um, just a really great, for the, those of you who are members, you're already on the mailing list, but we have an amazing mailing list so that keeps you up on wine specials, a few bottles that we have left over in the warehouse. So if you want to go to reservetastings.com email, reservetastings.com slash email, slash email, and just sign up for the list. We only send you two emails a month, just kind of giving you updates on what we're doing, when we get back on the road this year, where we'll be, special tastings that we're doing, and then shows like this. Because it is a new year, and we will be back on the road. There yeah. is a light at the end of the tunnel, and it is going to happen, Yep. which is awesome. So get on our email list, uh, reservetastings.com or Mindy A. Bear and or Mindy A. Bear. Well, and I should say one thing. Whenever Mindy gets a, a booking, we have a calendar that we share, and whenever Mindy gets a booking, I see it you know, come up, and, and I, every day you're getting new bookings for 2021. Uh, towards the end, love you know, it. Summer and towards the end. So this on while you're talking. All right, there yeah. you go. So back to food. Put that on too. It's cool to have a matching set. Yep. All right, that was a Christmas present too. Thank you, George. Rocks are crossed. <laughs> all right, what am I doing? Put that in there. Whoa. That's love. And all that that. See all that butter and from the andouille and, and that love that comes in. Oh yeah, all the grease. Woo! Yeah. I'm gonna move this over here so the nice people can see it, okay? Yeah. Are we using this anymore? No. All right, so we put the andouille sausage together with our mirepoix and tomatoes, right? Yeah. Come on over there, can you see it? And we're gonna put a little tomato sauce in, it? just like oh. six, eight ounces. Let me move the banner so you guys can see it. No, they can't see it. Hold on, let me uh, let me move the banner for you guys. There you go. Now you can see, see it? it. Yep. Okay, okay, so we just put in fresh tomatoes, but then you want to put in a little tomato sauce, too, that you buy at the store. Excuse me. Um, there's people on the East Coast, and they don't call it sauce. We call it sauce. Sauce? <laughs> Could you try that again? I'm from the South. Try that again. Yeah. <laughs> we I mean, don't call it sauce. For a proper Southern woman from Tampa like yourself. Take uh, me. Tampa's the big city. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> oh my God. Thank God this is not broadcasted out to the world. Thank God a bunch of people aren't in our kitchen watching us. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, so Mindy put a little bit of the sugar sauce Look, in. I didn't put all eight ounces because I just think it's a little bit much. Yeah. But six of those eight ounces, I'm pretty good with. I'm pretty good. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. Hey, hey, Let's hey, get crazy. Hey, Still hey. not all eight ounces. I'm just not. No. 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 All right, so we're going to get all this love together. And what's the next piece? Chicken or? No, not yet. Uh, hold on, I'm looking at my recipe because you know what? Sometimes you just start throwing stuff in and I, it's not like I make it every day, no, right? No, no, no. So, um, tomatoes, tomato yeah. sauce. Go ahead. You gotta add the rice. The rice, oh my God. The rice is not rice. Rice is a big part, of course it is, because I started it right when you guys signed on. All right, let me get the uh, So gloves. it is ready. So you put the rice in, then it becomes jambalaya, right? That's the beauty of it. And the one thing I should mention about the rice, you know what we should do here? We just watched the Bee Gees, um, the, what was it, the Bee Gees uh, documentary. If everybody out there has Prime, Prime I think it was? I think it was. Prime, Amazon or, Prime. or HBO Max, whatever. Watch the Bee Gees documentary, amazing. But So awesome. Does this remind you of anything? What are you doing? This is the, the, the disco era. It's tragedy. When the feeling's gone and can't go on, it's tragedy. We loved the documentary. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Look, let me see if anybody. The crown now, let but the Bee Gees <laughs> was last week, and last week was nuts. Let me see if anybody. <laughs> I wanted to see if anybody's still here. Yeah, you guys are still with us. Okay, good. <laughs> Can everyone sign off after tragedy? Tragedy. <laughs> what was this for here? Oh, this? 
right. I, look, I think this is, yeah, this is good. Um, All right. Okay, so now we're going to put in the rice. Okay. That's where we were before. Oh, and we should, we should mention something. Um, the rice. We have a cool rice cooker. Mindy came with that. It came with the marriage. But sometimes uh, you could just use regular, you make rice in a little uh, pot. You can make it instant even. Rice is, though you want it to no. be quality. No, no instant rice. You can make it instant. Not Because it gets acceptable. in there, man, and all they do is become little flavor bombs because they're little... They're little uh, rice kernels, and they just soak in all the stuff. No instant so. rice. That's not. No southern girl does that, I know. No instant rice. Not right, possible. Right? Okay. So this was rice. Uh, that is jasmine rice, and I put yeah. uh, one and a half cups of rice Watch in with two and a half cups of water, Woo! and that's what comes out after about twenty minutes. Okay. So, so this is not tragedy. This is not tragedy. That's a this spoon. Is money. Oh. Spoon. Spoon. Yeah, you have to. Go oh, to I'm spoon. spooning. Yeah. Oh, all right. Spooning, spooning rice. Uh oh, things could go wrong here. Just, just saying. Stick. No. Mm. That's why you get a rice cooker so it doesn't stick. Yeah. Show off. Whoa. 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 So all that's gonna get that love of the andouille. Can you see that? Andouille and the tomato and the holy trinity of the onions. And the green pepper and the celery. How's everybody doing out there? I'm over by the computer, just checking things out. Got any questions Ooh. for us? Anything like that? No insta rice. There's no flavor. I agree, Edgar. I, Thank you. Listen, I'm a total geek for for uh, for ingredients. I'm just appealing to Tampa girl here that there's a lot of instant rice in Tampa. No, so. look, he's a complete snob for tomatoes yeah. that are DOCG yeah. that only come from Italy. Yeah. It's not all right. Yeah. Even if they come from Italy, I'm not allowed to buy them. They have to have the San Marzano DOCG. So the fact that he's going Uncle Ben's instant rice on me is not okay. I'm going to be my own snob. Do you know what, make good rice. Do you know what instant rice is? It's tragedy. <laughs> Alexa, play tragedy by Bee Gees. Tragedy by Bee Gees from Spotify. Yeah. Now, the one thing you need to have in your kitchen is an awesome Sonos device or something like that, right? I don't know if anybody can hear this. Chicken stock needs to go in, and it's been flavored now. If you see it, woo, that's hot. Hey, where's your little uh, yeah, lobster claws? we got to grab stuff with, uh, wait, where, what? Where's your little lobster claws? Would you just touch that? Yeah. All right, you got to get it. Oh wait, where's my props or costume? Oh, here you they are. You want to sing? I don't know the words. <laughs> we gotta get closer to the mic. Wait. <laughs> you gotta wait for the chorus. I don't, I don't know the chorus. I only know the chorus, I should say. Who do you want me to do this? You wanna pour it in? Yeah. No, no, you wanna pour it in there. Alright, so Mindy wants to take out all the. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tragedy. Tragedy. Well, <laughs> you, wait till you get the light going for you. And it's tragedy. Your land's gone and it can't go on. It's not today. When no one can have you. <laughs> Mindy doesn't know the words. I know the words. Right, I know tragedy. Right. Right it's a tragedy what we're doing to the song. Oh, okay. Everything I'm got, sorry, Barry. Everything got yellow. Okay, so what's left? Let me turn Shrimp. the light back. It's Shrimp no skins. Way, no way. What do you take away from this? We only know the word tragedy from the BG song. I know. So these <laughs> go in the trash. Take out your trash tonight. Though. By the way, uh, here goes with the thing. Someone said that I, I tipped off their Alexa in their house. <laughs> You're evil. I know. I'm doing this to everybody out there. Alexa, play BG. Oh my god. So this wrong. Is the Beatles from no, 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 no. So he only gets it right once in a while. All right. Okay, check this out. This is what goes in next. Alexa? And I mixed it up Pause. beforehand because it's just a bunch of spices. It's white pepper. It's black pepper. And by the way, the, the um, recipe is in the invite uh, for this event uh, on Facebook. So the whole recipe's in there. But this is white pepper, black pepper, <laughs> basil, thyme. Um, what else? Cayenne. What? 
um, sage, all kinds of good stuff in here. So just sprinkle that in and that's pure love. Three or four people said BG started playing in their house. That's awesome. <laughs> We love it. You need to see that special. It's so good. It's right. so good. What's next? What's next? Okay. Um, put some Worcestershire sauce in, and okay. you're just gonna, and you're gonna put the chicken in, and then we're gonna put it in the oven. Okay. So while I'm doing and that, and then it's drinking with Eric. While it's while I'm doing that, and uh, we have to talk about the Tuesday show because our Tuesday wait, shows. Wait, 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 wait. No, we gotta put this in the oven. We got we got time. Oh, I got it. Yeah, we gotta. This has gotta bake. Ow! Don't no. <laughs> See you guys, it's been a month of just abuse. You wanna you wanna put your chicken in? Yeah. That's, stop it. <laughs> now, I'm gonna put my chicken in. Alright, what are you doing while I do this? Wait, I'm I'm drinking. Where's my wine? Alright. Oh. That's mine by the way. You keep drinking wine. I love to drink his wine. It's so much better than mine. Alright, so the nice people, can you guys see this? Let me see. Yep, on the camera? Good. Okay. So we got the chicken in there now, we got the andouille, we got the mirepoi, we got the rice, we got the spices. Mindy talked about the spice mix. And this is about as awesome as it gets. Now, listen, this is fantastic love starting to happen here. You smell it, right? Yeah, hope you guys can smell it from all over the country, including, I saw Brazil, I think, Ecuador as well. Not that Brazil. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Brazil, yeah. Ecuador, yeah, yeah. New York, and Florida. And the great country of Texas is here. That's what I'm talking about. If they had it their way, they would have it as their country. Look, we love that you are, are here with us because we know that football is on. Yeah. <laughs> so I know, cook a little jambalaya, drink a little bit, and then go back and watch football. We can fast forward through some of it. All right, so we're going to keep it on the stove while you play a little bit? Is yeah. That what's uh, next? No, put it in no. the oven. Oh. So I preheated my oven. I did it a little hot this time because, you know what? I don't want to sit around for too watch long stuff, to wait. Stuff. Usually it's about 25 minutes at 350. All right, so um, uncover, just put it in there and let it yep. do its magic, you know? I mean, the andouille's already cooked. The only thing that you've got to cook is the chicken. What are you doing? I'm going to put it in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, who, who's that by the way? I don't know. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the oven now. You are not a girly man, are you? I'm not a girly man. <laughs> I take the big pot and I put it in the oven. <laughs> Woo! Oh my uh, god, our house smells so good. Can I'm I so tired. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready for a song? Because you're going to need to get some wine ready. Uh, so, you know, uh, listen. <laughs> you go ahead and play. I'm tired. He wore himself out being Arnold Schwarzenegger. You got to pump you up. I got to get back up and help you with the audio. Okay, so we're drinking Shades of Blue. Again, not on the playlist, but I do have a song called True Blue. And I'm just Stop gonna, you know, go titles. Wait, I thought you were like hanging out for a second. No, I gotta, I gotta fix the audio when you play because it's loud in here. Oh, right. You, well, go, you go ahead and do it. <laughs> okay, Arnold. Just do it. Arnold Schwarzenegger in my kitchen. I'm playing? Yeah, of course I do. <laughs> I mean, 
Isn't it obvious? I, and But if I said it, it would kind of break all the fun. So I'll just let the nice people chime in. You guys tell me what this song is. Because I already know, of course. <laughs> <laughs> See, there's a thing that happens when you've written a bunch of songs. No. And I was in my uh, ASCAP, no. um, you know, kind of registry today. There's like 330 songs that I've written over these past years. So I started playing You Come As You Are. Now, I have been drinking, but only... Only a few sips. Maybe I should drink more, don't you think? Hmm. hmm. I think I should drink more and actually play you True Blue. But that was a test of the Guerra Hebert broadcasting system. <laughs> Wait, do, do you need... Am I supposed to say something? No. All right. What are you doing over there? I'm talking to the nice people. I'm okay. putting up little things. Do you want to see in there? Do you want to, do you want to see? Oh, that's good. Okay. All right. You don't get to see. Okay. Actually, Cece's fault. It's not really not. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I messed up the camera. There you go. Okay, so I'm gonna go on, but I couldn't. I couldn't do the second verse without He's... at least pointing that out, because he might clean it up by the time it's over. You, you had to see it. You sound like the. I can't go on. I can't go on. I gotta keep going. Okay, second verse. I right, got. Are we still cooking? Do you smell it? Yeah. Oh, so amazing. How's everybody else out there doing? Talk to me a little bit. I'm on the computer. Oh yeah, he's over there at the computer while I'm playing. Yep. Um, but I have wine, so hold on. This is like the longest song. This is like a... Well, it's, it's an intermission in it's True Blue. Bolero. <laughs> second verse. Second, 40th, second verse.
Now the third verse. Blue. Now the third verse. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no, but I had to, you know, I had to take a little wine intermission after having it splash all over the kitchen. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Malise. <laughs> sorry. Don't hit me again, please. You know what? Camera. Don't hit me. Please. This is why. Don't hit me again. You put your recipes in plastic. No, don't hit me again. <laughs> right, I'm taking my apron off. <laughs> It's hot in here. Is it hot in here? Yeah, yeah. Woo! We're making uh, jambalaya. It is hot. Yeah, so everybody that's just kind of joined us in the middle there, welcome. We're in the middle of making jambalaya that for the first 35 minutes you can go back and watch a show as a replay. But we're not taking it out right now. We're just kind of showing you where it's at. Got the Dutch oven in there. We got to show them. Yeah, yeah. Like put it up on the camera. It looks it really hands. good. We got, we got an extra hand here. Right okay, up. see that the chicken's just cooking in there? Chicken's it's just doing its thing. Right. Yeah, and, and you don't rice. have to stir it. You don't have to do anything. It just does it. I'm stirring it. Right. He's stirring. Boy, stirring the pot. I'm stirring it. <laughs> you didn't know I could do Arnold Schwarzenegger. How did I get Arnold Schwarzenegger? Because it can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now, Mindy's favorite part of the show. Drinking with Eric. <laughs> that sounds like a game show, doesn't it? It's like a wheel of, of fortune. fortune. All right, so what Drinking we're with Eric. Sorry, okay, it's your turn. Now. So as you guys know, during, uh, during these cooking shows and during our little wine shows and during Mindy's music shows, I come out and do a little wine thing. So we figured we'd put a little kind of thing to it, you know, maybe a one-minute segment where you can learn something about wine that you could take home with you, yeah. use it at home, use it in a restaurant. I'm a garbage pail of wine information, so it is uh, just a tremendous amount of stuff that I just need to get out. So you can ask him anything, so, and yes. you know, and he will he will answer so, it. Maybe tonight, but definitely another time too. So ask this, away. For this segment, we're going to talk about how to clean a wine glass. Okay. We're going to talk about how to clean wine glass. So I just got a wine glass and I got it wet because we're just assuming that it was just washed. Okay. Now, washed means not in the dishwasher. Mindy and I have done this a few times. You get a little lazy, put it in the dishwasher. It constantly will cause issues. Not only is there a film on your glasses, but it'll also make your wine taste completely different more times than not. Most high-end restaurants, most restaurants don't wash their glasses in the dishwasher. So what you do is you could use soap with your glass and you can wash it off and when it's wet here is the trick you don't put it on the drying rack where's my little uh where's my stuff stuff's happening no you put them away well i thought they were out <laughs> so i put them away i was like wow why are the wine little mitts out so this is what you do so this is how you clean a wine glass so let me go through that again real quick so you wash your glass hand wash it you can put it on the rack for a minute but you don't want it to dry because you'll get wine spots on it you need two microfiber cloths, two, um, and you could you could do it with one if you don't not geeky and have two. You could do it with one. With one, you got to be careful because you could snap the uh, base off the stem. So a wine glass has a bowl, a stem, and a foot. So bowl, stem, and foot. Sometimes these are one piece. Sometimes they're two or three, just like they are here. So going back to how we dry them. So professional way, the sommelier way, is you hold the glass, the the uh, the foot in one hand and you hold the bowl, you cradle the bowl in the other hand, and you clean the foot, you clean the stem, clean the outside of the bowl very carefully, and then you hold the bowl with one hand so you don't snap this off, and you do the rim, because that's where lipstick or janky stuff from your mouth, which ain't good, you know. You want to get that all in there like that, and then you take your microfiber inside while you hold the bowl, not the stem, and you mush it around like that, and that is a almost perfect glass. Let me get that a little bit more. And that is a perfectly clean glass that you could make your mother proud of right there. So that's how you clean a wine glass. That is drinking with Eric. Drinking with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe you put all my tools away. You know what? I see things my, out on the counter. I put them away. It's my first big segment. I'm nervous about it. I got to talk about wine, I, and then everything goes all wrong. But isn't that being a good wife that you put stuff away when you just see it out of on the counter? You're you're torn on this one, aren't you? No, I'm just sulking. <laughs> <laughs> my arm hurts from burning it before. Do you want some wine? It's yours. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's not a clean glass. Who cleaned this? 
Uh, that's my lipstick. Yeah. It is eight hour lipstick, might I say, because I do play saxophone. So. Are you selling lipstick now? No, but if you there's should. a lipstick line out there, you know. You should. It's, uh, it's 2021. We're still not working. It's, yeah, maybe time for a sponsorship. So, uh, so that's the Drinking With Eric segment. We're going to do that all throughout the year. And then, you know, the point is that hopefully when we get back and see you guys, you'll actually be drinking with Eric. Because when whenever Mindy plays shows, you guys see me hanging out. Everybody always comes up and has a glass of wine, glass of bourbon, whatever it is with me. So I love doing that. So we're going to continue these segments. If you have questions, you can send them in to reservetastings at gmail.com. A couple people already did. Thank you. And uh, we have a little Valentine's Day special before we get back to the cookie. Yeah. You want to mention it? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the wine stuff, so I always just... Here, look. it's on the screen. They can read Figure, it. It's, look. it's his thing. Look, look, but I'm reading. Valentine's Day special. Just look on the screen, right? Oh, hello. Yeah. They don't even need me. No. All right. He made a cool little, little uh, heart graphic and stuff. That's so awesome. All right, so 10% off. In twenty dollars flat shipping. <laughs> By the way, I'm reading think, the screen. I think this is the first time she's seeing it. So it's <laughs> ten percent off all the wines we have in our shop, and twenty dollars flat shipping. If you go up to six bottles, it's even more. It's fifty percent off, which is more than twenty, depending on where you are in the country. So, if you want a little bit of wine for our club members out there, the next shipment's not coming till mid to late February. Um, yeah. We're going to, well, next segment, we'll talk all about that. We've got all new designs, all new cool wines. So fun. Um, but to hold you over till then, you need to get some wine for Valentine's Day. That's your a little special code. You know what? It's more okay. fun when you get your Valentine just a little tipsy, maybe. Yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying. Things get better. Um, can I take the jambalaya oh, out, so, you think? No, real quick. A couple questions. Someone just said no shrimp in the jambalaya. Absolutely. Not only did we add shrimp, there's a couple people coming in late. No, we have not added shrimp yet. Because it doesn't oh, take that sorry. long to cook. Sorry, we added the, ch the shrimp next. shell juice. But we're going to, yeah, we don't want to overcook the shrimp, then, thank you. So we don't put it in, in the oven with, with it all. We cook it last. Mm -hmm. um, someone asked the type of chicken. We use chicken breast. Last time we used thighs, though. Thighs are better because they're mm -hmm. fattier, right? But yeah. we use breast this time. Organic grass-fed. Oh, it's not grass-fed. That's beef. Uh, Corn-fed. Organic free-range. <laughs> Isn't that chickens? It's chicken. No, I mean eggs. No, because they get to run around and, and sing Bee Gees. Do they do that? Tragedy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then uh, watch this, right? Alexa, play the Bee Gees. Just screwed up a bunch of people's houses. <laughs> Bee Gees from Spotify. Oh. oh. Come on. Do you know this song? Maybe. you got to wait for it. Glasses come off for this. Ooh. And in your eyes in the morning sun, <laughs> I feel you touch me in the morning rain. Do we have to get the food out? No. And in the moment that you wonder what you me, I wanna feel you in my heart again. Okay, this is your part. And you come to me on the summer breeze, keep me warm in your love. <laughs> and it's me you need to show How deep is your love? <laughs> Alexa? Okay. <laughs> Pause. All right, let's get on with the cooking. God, I don't so know how this turned into a BG show. I don't know it. we didn't, yeah, we didn't plan that. Where's your, uh, where's your uh, crab right, claws? Let's get back here. All right, let's get back. These got to come out. Oh, it does it? Okay. okay, so now we take... We the jambalaya out of the oven I want you to, to talk add like, the shrimp. I want you to talk like Julia Child. We're going to take <laughs> the jambalaya out. <laughs> I seem to have cut myself. <laughs> well, I cut myself it's like bleeding the... bleeding profusely. The dickens. I've cut the dickens out of my mouth. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Dan Aykroyd doing J Julia Child. You didn't, you yeah, didn't, I didn't specify. specify. No, that's, so, I got what I asked for. Look, this is what, uh, you don't have to stir it, but you can. <laughs> she doesn't want me to stir it. So I'm stirring it. I'm stirring So, for those of you... Wait. No, no. Okay. No, it's not done. It isn't? No, actually. Mm -hmm. I forgot to put the Worcestershire sauce in, and you should put about a tablespoon. So, I'm feeling that this is kind of like a tablespoon. What is that? What? This is in every 
southern dish known to man. Who knows what it does? It's super salty, and it's a it's a flavor, right? But that's going in. <laughs> First off, can anybody actually say the word Worcestershire? No. And does anybody really know what it is? I mean, I know a couple of you geeks out there definitely know, but the majority of us really have no idea Please what the hell know. Worcestershire is. Right? It's salt. It's it's a uh, you know. I think I've read salt. it. I think I've read it three or four times, and I still can't remember. So. so I left a couple of shrimp in the bowl just in case you guys don't know how to clean shrimp. Because yeah, let, me, uh, let me hold the bowl for you. You know, some people don't, right? Okay, so go ahead. So you just take the shrimp off. Like Julia Child. Like Julia Child. Now you take the shrimp off. You take the shells off, and you just kind of take. Make sure you get the legs too, right? And get in there for the tail. Just get in there, rip it off. So you, you get the whole tail, right? Do you know the cooler way to do that? What? Get it, throw that in. No, no, I'm not throwing it in yet. So you're not done though, oh. because there's this you need to cut the thing that you got to get kind of you know the bad stuff out of it. You got to have cleaned shrimp. Wait, so what's, what's the technical term for that? Bad stuff. No, the thing. See that? You don't want to eat that. Definitely don't want to eat that. Take that out. So there is a clean shrimp. And that can go in your jambalaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is how to clean shrimp. What's your way to clean a shrimp? All right, you hold this. Okay. All right. Oh, God. So first, you take the shrimp, <laughs> and then you uh, you take the end of it. I worked in a restaurant when I was 14 years old in New Jersey called the Italian, it was an Italian restaurant called The Windless. So you kind of peel that end off a little bit, you pull the tail off. Boom. That's right. nice. I and like you that. you grab all the legs with one thumb. Oh. And you peel it back off the shrimp. This is super sexy. Off. That was... Where's the knife? I'm so turned on right now. And then <laughs> and then you take this with a cool way, and then like you did, right? Go down and get the mm -hmm. vein out. All right. Peel it back like a like an apple, like my grandmother used to peel apples. And if you want to get really crazy, you got also the the stuff in the middle there, as you call it. And you can peel that out as well or scrape it out. And you got a super clean shrimp. Yeah. Okay, so he always told me he didn't hey. know how to clean shrimp. Hey, check this out. Now I know he does. Check this out. <laughs> knife down. Knife down. Now I know he knows how to clean shrimp, and now he's, he's cleaning shrimp now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he doesn't know how to clean shrimp. No, that was super sexy. Wow. I got Arnold Schwarzenegger tonight and cleaning shrimp. I'm done. Boosh. So you're going to throw your shrimp in. Right. Because the reason this goes in later is because shrimp take no time to cook. Right? Now you want to stir it. Oh, we still have the drinking with Eric Lugolo. So. That's got to come down. So, put the shrimp in there, stir it around, and you're gonna put it back in the oven for just a few minutes. I mean, 10 minutes max. What do we do during that 10 minutes? Um, I can play a song, you can dance, we can, we can sing to Bee Gees. Yay! You know, but I think, you know, a good five minutes and this, this baby is cooked. All right. You know, so just make sure they're all tucked in there so they get the flavor, they get all the love, you know? And when you get it out of the oven, you can, you can serve it with whatever you want. French bread, so you can kind of dip it in and get that tomato we love. Um, you know, whatever you're feeling. But just a few more minutes in the oven and it's magic, all right? So, back in. I'm not gonna do it as cool as Arnold Schwarzenegger, but. Boom. Boom. All right, you guys can ask the wine guy questions. I am gonna play you one more song, and uh, we're just so happy we get to spend our time with you. Uh, 2020 taught us so much, but it taught us how much you mean to us. And we love cooking, so why not share it with you guys? Uh, I love playing on the porch, and uh, so we share that with you guys. Can I just say that this year on the porch is gonna be super special? And I don't wanna blow any any cool stuff, but we have kind of redecorated the porch. Oh. It's a new year. Ooh, so Mindy's we, excited about this. We've had some fun. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the last couple weeks just getting crazy with the porch. So I hope you guys tune in on Tuesday 
Um, I'm having Casey Abrams over, and he is one of the most talented people on the planet. Oh, and let, me, let me put it up so everybody can see him, because sometimes you recognize him by the way he looks. He's just a cool-looking dude. There he is. Well, he's got longer hair now. This was quite oh. a few years ago. Don't we all? <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> but I met him playing on American Idol. The first season that I played was season 10, and he was a contestant. So I played with him and uh, Haley Reinhardt and uh, a bunch of bunch of cool up and coming artists. But I kept in touch with Casey, and Casey is just unbelievable. And we've played together um, on a few shows since. And I just think you are gonna love him. He's an upright bass player. He's a singer. Uh, you've seen him with Postmodern Jukebox too, and he's just this uber talent. And so much fun. Hey, so hey, can yeah. I do one quick thing? See you thing? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday is going to be outstanding. And I'm looking at the stage right now outside of our kitchen, and it looks amazing. Super exciting. But I want to say, do a little special shout out. I got my brother's name up on the screen. He must be an old guy. He doesn't even have an avatar for his Facebook. <laughs> John, he doesn't have a photo up. John, we got to get you. By the way, this is my older brother. And John is just getting over uh, the coronavirus. And he's doing great. So, John, we send love to you. And, Absolutely. And uh, hope you're feeling well, but you my friend. you took my wine. No, I took your wine. Yeah. So, everybody out there that sees my brother John on here, please shout out to him. He's he's at the tail end of recovery, man. So. Woo! Woo! Right here. John, we love you. Mm. I'm glad you're feeling better. It's about time. Make sure I'm, <laughs> Make sure I'm in the will. Wow. Make sure I'm in the will. Wow. All right, so go ahead. You can play a little song while we're doing this, and then we're going to be wrapping up the whole show. And, uh, and we're going to take out the jambalaya, and it's going to be money. So I need a saxophone. Hold on. Hey, Edgar, you ran into Barry Gibbons, South Beach. Absolutely, man. Guy's one of the nicest guys you've ever met in your life. He's so nice. Yeah. Uh, Barry Gibb is, like, the best. And when live music comes back around, go see Barry Gibb. He is the last Gibb standing, and... Well, he was always my favorite. I, mean, I know we all had a favorite. I know you guys had a favorite. And uh, it's just amazing to see him. He's lost nothing. His whole band are friends of mine, and they're just all uber talented, and the music sounds amazing. So. By the way, a ton of stuff coming in for John right now, Brother John. John! Tons of love coming in for John. See, that's love for you. This song is for him? This song is for you. So, uh, this song is a blues because we're drinking Shades of Blue, and it's an odd blues. It's not your normal everyday blues. It was a song that I became aware of in college, and there's an artist named Thelonious Monk. Isn't that like the coolest name in show business? Yeah. Thelonious Monk. And uh, Thelonious Monk is super crazy cool, wrote some awesome songs, and was just like... I don't know. I love his style. I love what he wrote. I love his arrangements. So I was very into uh, him, his sax player, Charlie Rouse. And uh, so this is a Thelonious Monk song called Straight No Chaser. I'm going to dedicate it to you, John Guerra, because you're getting better and we love you so much. Hold on a second. <coughs> what are you doing? I'm doing Straight No Chaser. Oh my God. You took it literally. A little bourbon, a little Basil Hayden. Drinking with Eric. Yay! <laughs> I love this new segment, by the way. Oh, my God. I was built for it. <laughs> All right. You are. You were made for this. Straight, no chaser. Wait. You don't drink bourbon, girl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Okay. Champagne. Oh, someone did ask what your favorite wine is. Oh. Well... I like a nice Chateau Margaux. <laughs> I love really, <laughs> really? awesome oh my God. French wines. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> are, you, are you upset? <laughs> uh, I mean, so, isn't that great? Um, my favorite wine is the most expensive wine on the planet. <laughs> uh, my favorite car is a, you know, one of ten Maseratis ever made. You didn't ask what wine uh, I drink every night. You asked what my favorite was. Your favorite was. wine, well, wine in general is champagne. Paul Roger. Yeah, champagne. Paul Roger champagne. It's P-O-L-R-O-G-E-R. -E and it's this beautiful champagne that you can't find everywhere. But he turned me on to it early on. 
in our relationship and I've never gone back. So whenever it's a special occasion, we'll buy a bottle of Paul Roger and it's it's on. So Paul Roger definitely for champagne. But Paul anything Roger. French and and uh, <laughs> awesome I'm with ex- a little expensive little, kind of thrown in. <laughs> no, a little funkiness to it. I I love that in a red wine. Now you say, and I know people want to hear you play, but I got to play this out a little further. You say anything French? Now just remember that. No French that with with some little funky. I only give my wife awesome French wine, so there's a lot of French wine that doesn't taste good at all. I get it. But you you're only exposed to that little filet mignon of French wine. It's really good. When yeah, you bring yeah, home. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not any French wine. Isn't just, she? You know. Isn't she adorable? You asked. All right, I got my Basil Hayden. Let's go. I like big diamonds, really large diamonds. Yeah, <laughs> you I don't. mean, he's asking, right? <laughs> Play the nice people. Oh yeah. Wait, hold. No, Paula, I like rock and roll more than I like big diamonds. Paula said we got we forgot about the food. Yeah. Now nah, we're good. We're good. Still no, good. No, it's good. It's good. Thank you for playing. We forgot. We forgot what it's a cooking <laughs> show. <laughs> what? What? All right, go ahead. Okay, a little straight no chaser. Then we're going to take the jambalaya out of the oven and eat. And then we tortured these people enough. We have to eat. By the they way, have to go watch football. cookies, too. Because the jambalaya Would you play is the song? not enough. Please play the song. So, oh. For the love of everything that that's just... After the jambalaya. They do look good. Peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. That's right. It just got creepy. Let's go. Come on. Straight no dance, chaser. Good. Are you dance, drinking? Dance, 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 <laughs> dance. <laughs> Tonight is a kind of a blues theme. We got shades of blue, and I'm talking about the Bee Gees tonight. I, I don't know. We watched the know. documentary. This is pandemic kind of stuff, right? Right, right? Will you take the jambalaya out? Give me that. Okay, so I want you to do the what's that? Um, da, 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 what is that called again? Da, da, boom, 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 boom. Oh. Okay, go ahead. Ready? Da. So start. Oh. Create the anticipation. Wait, why don't I just? No, no, no. Da. No. Da 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 and let the nice people go watch football. <laughs> <laughs> That's just this week. By the way, the nice people include me. That's true. Well, I don't know. Hey, 
I made the chicken, chicken too big. I made the chicken too big. All right, so you can see here we got the, the shrimp cooked perfectly because we added it later on, mm -hmm. right? We got big chunks of shrimp. Get some andouille in there too. Get some andouille. There's some shrimp. There's some chicken andouille. And what? see how it's kind of you know it's 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 got some stick-to-itiveness, you know. It's, yeah, some it's good. Ribs sticking. Yeah. So you can put bread with that. You can you know okay, do what, you whatever you want. Well, no, we're gonna share, right? Huh? Oh, we're not sharing. No. Is that, no. Okay. This is my bowl. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> no, I'm good. Oh, that's your bowl? That's my bowl. That's not fair. Yeah, that's, that's my okay. bowl. <laughs> Wait, yes, I need a fork. Thank you for everybody being with us tonight. Thank you for putting up with us. You can see we're pretty excited to be back at it with you guys. We missed you guys. We like each other, but we missed you guys. We're very optimistic <laughs> about the year. Thank you for giving us a break for a couple weeks while we kind of just worked on the house and worked on ourselves and watched a lot of TV and watched The Crown and... We went to the beach today because it was, you know, 85 degrees yep. and awesome. So, uh, yeah. So this is Mindy's World Famous, sorry, Galactic Famous Jambalaya. You can find the recipe on our Facebook pages, Reserve Tastings, as well as Mindy's. It's right in the uh, live feed, so cheers. Mm. Cheers. Cheers to everybody out there. Thank you for being with us So tonight. good, right? Oh, I took my face out. Woo! It's so good. You can adjust the spice however you want it. It look. Make it spicier, make it. Bobbing for Andouille. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it. <laughs> Here, let me help you. All right, wait. Bobbing for Andouille. Got it. Makes it so much easier. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah. Right all over my face. You're getting a, a little facial there, aren't you? Ooh. All right. All right. So take it by the nice people. Thank you so much. Enjoy your football. We will see you Tuesday for Casey Abrams. And we have so many cool artists coming in over the next couple Tuesdays. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We've got artists from all over the country going to be coming in. Not just in our backyard. We're going we're gonna to bring them in from all over the country. So it's going to be really awesome. Super awesome. So have a beautiful night. Thank you for coming in to cook with us. We love you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>